and I'm not going to get me something with it. Well, Jesus Christ has given you a free gift card. And praise the Lord, he's laid it out for you. And this morning, you can go over and pick it up and you can use it or you can tuck it away and put it back in the drawer of your mind somewhere and never think of it again. But let me tell you, the Bible says uh, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. I've got life this morning. I've got peace this morning. I've got joy this morning. Even though there may be pains in the body, I've still got joy. I'm, I've had tears running down my face because of heartbreak in my life. I've lost people that have verses to me that, that I didn't want to see them go. But yet I know that happens. But let me tell you, through all of those times, there was not a moment, there was not a second uh, that Jesus Christ wasn't there in my heart and standing with me. And praise the Lord, do you know what? In the midst of the tears, uh, if you know God, it's not to complain, uh, it's not to dread every day that you face, but praise the Lord, you can look back in the midst of the illness or whatever it is, death defying things, uh, and you can say, well devil, let me tell you one thing, this body may be about gone, uh, but I've still got my joy, and you know what the Bible says, it's joy unspeakable and it's full of glory, it's a half that has never yet been told I could stand up here today until the sun started to go down I could stay till the sun come up in the morning, I could never speak to you the fullness of the joy of God, and make Make you understand it until you yourself come and get it. I can tell you about that that calzone we had at Pasquale's that was given to us. I can tell you about the time that we've gone into places to eat and come to find out that when somebody they come to bring the bill, that they walk up and say somebody has already paid for yours. And I say, who was it? I want to thank them. They said, well, we don't know. We're not supposed to tell and so on. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, there might have been some of you that I never did get to thank, but I want you to know I appreciate it and I praise God for it. But let me tell you, I know one this morning that gave me life and I know who he is. I know where he is and I'm here this morning to give him praise. I'm here to give him honor. I'm here to give him glory. I'm here to let the world know that he is God. He always was God. Always will be God. And his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I know this morning who gave me this gift and every breath that I take, I praise him for it. Let me tell you, folks, Folks, uh, if somebody gives you a gift in life, you be sure you go thank that person. Give them a thank you note. Let them know that you appreciate it. And let me tell you something. They might give you another one. But if you don't appreciate it and you just cast aside, you may never see another one. But I want to tell you one thing. Jesus Christ, you can cast him aside and you can snub your nose at him and you can trample him beneath your feet. But if that day comes when you find out and realize you're not going to make it alone. There's no way that I'm going to make it. I mean, I'm, I, I'm just so hooked on this and I'm hooked on that. I'm so far down. I have to reach up to touch bottom. I thank God that there has been a price paid. Yeah, oh yes, that can even lift you up and set you free and bring you out and it won't cost you one red cent. I see these folks on television send me $300 for so many years uh, and you'll see healing come into your life. I want to tell you this morning, if you're sitting in this audience under the power of the Holy Ghost of God and you want to come and be healed, you don't have to put a penny in my pocket. You don't have to give a dime to the church, but Jesus Christ will freely touch you and heal you and raise you up and make you something that you never thought that you you could be. Woo! Hallelujah. A man sat at the gate called Beautiful and he was crippled and his ankles were so crippled he couldn't walk. They bring him there every day and lay him down. You may be so sick in sin this morning uh, and, and lost without God and you say, preacher, I don't think I even got the strength to walk to that altar. Then walk over and get one of these people that's saved by the arm and say, would you put your arm around me and help me get down to the altar? I want to find Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. They'll do it and you can leave here leaping and shouting and praising an almighty God. Hallelujah. Just for what he did for you. Praise the Lord. Now you feel the Holy Ghost today. Woo! I believe it's in the house of a living God. 
Praise the Lord. There he sat. He was begging. He just depended on others, other people as they come in. It's just a chance, were there not, that he would get a dollar or a nickel or whatever the money was back then. It's just a chance, but that's a chance he had to take because that was his only way he could survive. There's people today that think they can't survive without another drink. They think they can't survive without another fix. I want to tell you this morning, I've got a fix for you. I've got a fountain for you. I've got a spring, a well of water, springing up into everlasting life. Where if you will drink of it this morning, you won't be thirsty tomorrow. You won't be thirsty the next day. Well, matter of fact, praise the Lord, you will never thirst again because God is my Savior and he will redeem you and he give you a well of water springing up into everlasting life. I'm not talking about something that'll run out and you gotta go back to the filth and the devil to get some more. I'm talking about something that'll be good today and 10 years from now, 20 years from now as you're walking down the streets of gold hallelujah, in God's big heaven, it'll still be good because it's what got you there. Woo, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Give him some praise in the house. He deserves our praise. Woo. All he could do was sit and beg. But one day, there's two people came by that were not just ordinary people. They weren't just that dragged out bunch walking in to sit in the temple and drown themselves in sorrow or whatever it was they done. Hear a bunch of stuff read and dragged back out. Let me tell you, brother, I don't care how good you felt when you come in here this morning. I don't care how bad you felt when you come in here this morning. I hope that when you leave here, you'll feel a little bit better than you did when you come in. That's what it's about. Oh, somebody said, I heard a, I heard a fellow on television say, church is not about feeling good. Well, let me tell you something. I wish he'd come down here one Sunday. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. See those dead, dragged out, uh, I'm, you know, empty seats would be easier to preach to than some folk. I mean, God did not intend for us to be dead. I said, God did not intend for us to be dead. God intended us to be alive and well and serving him and praising him in the good time, in the bad time. Get that frown off of your face. Put a smile on that face. Even though it's through tears, it's through pain, and it's through sorrow, Jesus Christ is alive. Can I tell you today, he's not dead, he's not in a grave, but he's alive, and he'll be alive tomorrow. He'll be alive next week. He'll be alive next Sunday. He'll be alive 10 million years from now. He'll still will be alive because his name is Jesus. Because he's got power, he's got love, he's got grace, he's got mercy, and he's got it to give to you if you need it today. Come and get it because my God, he loves you. Woo, he loves you. Woo, hallelujah. I said here not long ago, I don't need to catalog sin this morning. I don't need to tell you how 